Hello, this is Julie. There was a question today about can you use files from Silhouette Studio in Cricut Design Space for cutting to the Cricut Explore? I do it all the time, so I thought I'd show you how to do that with just the free software and using Windows Snipping Tool to get the file from Silhouette Studio. I do take it in to make the cut first and then into Cricut Design Space because it's more efficient that way than any other that I've found. First I'm going to open my library and get the free image that was today. It's called Geometric Background. So I'm going to double click on that. Every week there is a free file given away at Silhouette Studio and this happens to be the one for this week. In order to get this out of Silhouette Studio I click on the Windows Snipping Tool, click on New and drag around the entire design. Then I open Make the Cut and click on Pixel Trace and Paste. I click on the color tab and click on the color and this will bring the color in. I apply changes, import to finish tracing and I have the completed design here. Now I'll go to file, export, selection to SVG and save it as geometric design 1 and then I'll open Cricut Design Space, go to Upload Images, use Upload Vector because SVG file is a vector, Browse to the Geometric Design 1, Open, Save, and the design is now ready to insert on my page. Now the only difference is, is the size. This imported at 7.1 inches. With the lock on, I'm going to change that to 11 inches, which will bring it almost up to the size that it was in Silhouette Studio, and there it is. Now, not all designs are that easy because in Silhouette Studio it's only been recently that I've been finding designs that are filled with color. So I can do some extra little steps. I'll show you a little harder design. I have a, a collection of over 12,000, almost 13,000 Silhouette Studio designs that I've purchased. So when I want to use one then I go into my library here to find the one that I want to do. I'll go to boxes and bags and click on the 3D candy box with rings just to show you some of the challenges you may have. Notice that there's no color in this design. It's much easier to get a good clean copy of the design if you fill it with color. To do that I click on the bucket icon at the top of the screen and left click on black to fill it. But there's a problem with filling it with black in that some of the white areas are not showing. So when we have inside areas that do not show up as white, I right click on it and make compound path and that fixes the problem. But the other problem in this design is that there are score lines that are not too visible and a screen capture might not get those. So what I've found works is to get a lighter color. Maybe I'll take a, a green color and I'll leave the lines red or I could even make the lines black click on the lines icon at the top and click on black. You have to select the lines though and you have to break it apart to select the lines. 
So I don't really want the lines to be black. I think I'll just leave them as is. Now what I'm going to do is click on the window snipping tool, click on new, drag my cursor around the entire design, trying not to get the outside edges because those would try to come in as well. Click on make the cut, open a new project, click on a pixel trace, paste, now this time I'm going to click on color and click on the color box and just pick up that green and apply the changes. So now you can see I've got the designs in Make the Cut and I'll import that. I've got some nice clean lines in here but you'll notice that these dashed lines are kind of thick. So with a little preparation in Make the Cut, I can fix that pretty quick. I'll select it, click on Break down at the bottom, and now I'm going to select just the score lines and go to this wrench icon and Thin Paths. And what that will do is turn those into thin score lines. Same with this up here. If I join these, we can see it a little bit better. I don't want to join everything. I don't want to capture all of this in here. So what I'm going to do is just kind of join each little section. And now I'll select holding the shift key and I think what I'll do is send this to its own layer so I can hide it and take all this inner detail and hide it as well. And I see this bottom line here I need. So now I've got the score lines and again I'm going to click the wrench icon, thin paths. Now if I type 4 and 3 we can look real close at those score lines and we have nice small score lines that will be much better to work with. So now I can show everything show all and I think I will combine by clicking on the icons on the layers palette I can hold shift click on the outside lines and the inside lines and join those together so that now we see our box and I can move the score lines to the top so we can see them. So now it looks more like what I would want it to be in Design Space. So now I'm going to select it and go to File, Export, Selection to SVG, and we'll call this a 3D candy box with rings, number one, and save. Now we'll go to Design Space. I'll get rid of this other one. Click on Upload Images, Upload Vector, Browse, and I need a 3D candy box with rings. Save. Click on the box, Insert Images, and then I can resize as I like. While I have it selected, I'm going to right click and attach. And this will keep all the score lines attached to the boxes they go with. And we click on go, we can see that we have 
all the score lines where they need to be and we have the boxes here all on one page that should cut out just fine. So this is about as complex as as we get and you'll notice it was quick and simple using make the cut to get these designs in here. Now if the designs were just solid in Silhouette Studio you could simply um, import the images straight without going to make the cut. If I go to library and look at something that might not have any inside detail or um, score lines maybe maybe there's a bird we could do such as this bird here. I'll double click on that. When you do something simple like that you can click on the paint bucket, click on the black to fill it, click away from it then you can do a window snipping tool to get the solid design. You can go straight over to design space, go to upload images, and this time do basic upload. I forgot to save it for my snipping tool, so we'll save as um, bird. Now when I get into design space, I can go look for that bird and open. Now this is a pretty simple image, so I can continue with that. And I need to get rid of the outside lines and continue. And you see we get a pretty clean image right here, so we'll save that and you should find that here. Click on the insert image and we have our bird. So if you have a very simple design with not a lot of detail, inside detail, you can get a pretty good trace in here. But if we were to do the same thing with with let's say all of this you'd have to click that little cleanup tool in every white space to get that to work properly or very well in Cricut Design Space. So um, I find that using Make the Cut intermediately really helps. Also if you capture a design like this you may not get the score lines in if you have score lines and you would have a problem because they would come in too thick into design space. So that's just kind of a quick overview of how you can use the regular free version of Silhouette Studio to get designs into the Cricut design space. If you already own Make the Cut, this is a um, the most efficient way I know. If you don't own Make the Cut already, um, there are a lot of compelling reasons to get it. For one, it gives you access to the gallery, which happens to have over 12,700 cutting files that come with the software for free. So, Make the Cut's a great option here for getting designs from Silhouette Studio to Cricut Design Space. I hope that's been helpful. Thanks for watching.